What is up, Pixel Nation? I am Zebrahead6000, bringing you some bad company to gameplay. And what a way to start the round, smashing two people with my ATV. Now, you've never heard from me before, I have never posted on Pixel Enemy or Pixel Enemy Revive, but I am a fan, and I do have the capability of recording, so I thought, heck, why not? There's so many people, it seems like, complaining about every montage that comes out, and you know what, personally, I am kind of one of those people that are little bit sick of them. <laughs> no offense to those who are making them. I think they're great and they're fun to watch, but it just seems like we've been inundated and that that's all the channel has become is a bunch of montages. So, once again, no, dis no disrespect to those people. And, uh, but yeah, thought I'd bring you something a little different. Now, for the most part, I will be giving a play-by-play. -play. Beautiful girl. And just letting you guys know what I'm thinking while I'm playing. This is Valparaiso, and this is my favorite rush map on Bad Company 2. And this is probably my favorite kit just for killing. Now, I switch up kits depending on what role I try to play. Uh, in this video, I'm playing the killer role. Except for the next set... Is it the next set of MCOMs? No, it's the ones after. Uh, the, the set of MCOMs, like the one where B is out in the water, that one I kind of had to play hmm, the whole team because it seemed like my whole team was just sitting back sniping. For every transition in the video, there's a hot girl. Hopefully that will keep you around. Anyway, I snipe. No, I didn't snipe. I shot the pilot out of the helicopter, which the enemy stole from our team. Ah, oh, my team was kind of bad in this one up until the very end. Uh, this is my favorite route on this one, and it seems like there is always, without fail, somebody just camping this little heavy MG right here. That guy barely got to it. He was probably pretty pissed, but... Anyway, uh, this is another spot that I like, uh, unless they see you immediately, and then, in which case, you have to jump down and act like a girl and shoot someone in the face. Seems like now, more than ever, people are using the Saiga and the USAS on Bad Company 2. In fact, I haven't even played Bad Company 2 for probably a week or two at this point. Um, but yeah, it seems like there's just a lot of noobs with the noob kits, the old noob kits that kind of used to just uh, make you so mad, but now that you've played Battlefield 3, it's like, oh, it's not so bad. I, think we got objective Bravo. I digress. Oh, got My team took the MCOMs, and here I am just kind of mopping up the enemy team, doing a horrible job. Now, you saw me kind of jitter when I was aiming at that guy. That is actually a cheap tactic for the consoles. And for all you people who kind of suck at aiming, like me, you should use it. Or, you know, even even people that are uh, pros. Lingerie model! It's a valid tactic either way. What you do is you just quickly aim in and out, or zoom in and out, uh, aim down sights, whatever you want to call it. Quickly do that while you're tracking your target, and it helps you stay on target because of the heavy aim assist on consoles. Now on PC, I don't think it's quite as effective. And here I am in this base, arming the MCOMs by myself. This base was a pain in the butt. Scantily clad woman! I edited out quite a bit of footage here, or a couple of deaths, I should say. And here I am on the BMCOM, once again, doing it by myself. If you can see on the mini-map, I am pretty much the only person up this far doing anything. The rest of my team is on the hill, uh, looking through their 12 power scopes at what I'm doing, apparently. Um, this is one of my favorite, I guess, perches or spots to defend the BM com, and here I go swimming in the water. I don't know why this guy didn't turn around. And yeah, I guess I know why. He was trying to disarm. Anyways, yes. I have to say, at this point in the commentary, my mom has interrupted me about three different times on the phone, and she actually came to my door. She lives about a quarter mile away. So, yeah, it's been kind of a frustrating experience, to say the least. But anyway, I skipped that whole last base because I flanked the enemy, killed about five or six people in the span of about two or three minutes, and it was kind of boring. My team was able to get the MCOMs. Like I say, by this time, it seems like my team grew some balls and started PTFOing. I set the MCOM here just because I thought, well, I'm in the area, it doesn't seem like there's any enemies around. Uh, you know, earlier on I said I was playing the killing role, but yeah. Anyway, my video is coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you stuck around this long, kudos. And thank you to Pixel Enemy for the opportunity.
to post for Pixel Nation. Yeah, we just bagged Jeff Bravo over. We'll see the next dagger. Yeah, those Russians are falling back. Well done, guys.